What's up, guys? Ankle Spanking here, and today we are playing as Conqueror Lucian on the PBE. Welcome to the preseason 10 first batch of large changes. Now, you might be wondering, you, 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 what did you just say? Conqueror Lucian? What the hell are these on the map? Alcoves? Uh, the, the possibilities are endless. There's also, oh my god, there's a new bush here and a new bush over here. Look at this. They're jamming in it. So much new stuff, and we'll be exploring it in so many different videos. So put your panties on, sit tight, get your comfy po or get your comfy pillow and your blankies, get some coffee. We're going in deep, boys. So not only do we have to explain the Conquer and Nimbus cloak changes specifically for our champion, you guys might also need to learn a little bit about the dragons, which, as you can see by this new HUD, will be interesting. But we'll explain that. As we get to the dragons in the game, first and foremost, we need to tell you guys what new Conqueror does. Do you remember Fervor of Battle? Okay, so now you know what Conqueror does, except they slapped heal on it. Basically, Conqueror will now base attack or spells that deal damage to an enemy champion, grant two stacks of Conqueror for 8 seconds, gaining damage per stack. Stacks up to 10 times, range champions only gain one stack per auto attack. So this is all fine and dandy, and it makes sense. But the spells will always grant Two. So Lucian with his light slinger effect and his constant spell slinging should stack conquer very, very quick. Now they also changed Nimbus Cloak because, and we'll get to this later, of a Cloud Drake change, a Vape Drake. And Nimbus Cloak is now additional movement speed um, after you cast summoner spells instead of after you use your ultimate. And it is a hundred and fifty up from 100 so lots and lots of changes i actually don't remember all of the dragon changes off the top of my head i just know that they are a lot and each of them even changed the actual like summoner's rift and they also changed support items so what does this one even do oh dude thresh can execute minions now range champions can execute minions oh that's so nice i know they took out ancient coin um, so the coin support item, completely out of the game now. It's gone. Here's a goodbye. Mwah. Gone. And... Whoop. I didn't know if he was gonna get that in time, so I sniped it. Oh. Wait, I just realized how these... How these... Bu wow! How these bushes are set up. Are those little ghosties? This is interesting. This is definitely interesting. <clears throat> so. It does. I was actually curious if the spill. The spill. The spell would hit the two stacks. And I hit the Q there through the minions. And saw for myself. The answer to my riddle. Now they also did slightly decrease. The experience that bot laners get. And slightly increase the experience that solo laners get. Um, I think it was only like 2% up on top and mid and then 2% down on bottom, but slight increase, slight decrease is still there. Still a factor. Oof. Good Q. Good Q. So I'm going to try and keep this lane here. We want Thresh to be able to, uh, look for plays. I want to use my potion because we're going to be looking to duke it out here. I'm sure pretty shortly. Uh, wait, we can go on this. And I'm going to use my heal immediately. Look at that Nimbus Cloak speed. What? What? Oh, the Conqueror is stacked. The Conqueror is stacked. Auto attacking, auto attacking, E dashing. Yo, that's some movement speed when you heal. What the? Nice flash. So I did a preemptive heal there to see the Nimbus Cloak speed, plus make sure that it was not cut by a potential Ignite that I didn't even check if they had. I just assumed they had it. But oh my god. We got a whole 46 damage. Ooh, good try, buddy. Good try. Now, as far as build goes, we can do the Crit Lucian build, or we can do the Blade of the Ruin King Lucian build. I'm going to fix this real fast, because it's going to bug me until I do. <laughs> it's just going to bug the hell out of me until I do. All right. Everything's all hunky-dory now. 
I imagine that the junglers like Shivana or Warwick, uh, Kha'Zix, Nunu, all these junglers that can take early dragons are going to be really prevalent. Just because of the the changes to it. So who knows, though? Who knows? I know that if you get the fourth dragon in the game, you get what's called the Elder... Or, the, like, the Dragon Soul buff, which is kind of like the Elder Dragon, except it's based on the most prevalent Drake you've gotten. So, for example, if you have gotten two Cloud Dragons, you will get the Wind Cloud Dragon buff, which I believe is movement speed after your ultimate. Or if you get the Infernals, it's like a little AoE explosion on your hits. Um, Ocean Dragon is regen after you hit something. And I'm going to be completely rhombus with you guys. I have... Wow. I didn't even dash out of it. I have no clue. I don't have my heal, so I don't want to go for this. I don't want to go two ham skis for this. It was a good hook, but if we overcommit to that, I think we lose it. But anyways, like I said, completely rhombus with you guys. I have no freaking clue what um, <laughs> what the mountain one is. <laughs> so, I don't want to risk staying here too much longer. So, we're just going to back. Um, I want to do this. The reason I'm going for the Bilgewater instead of... The BF sword build is partially because I like it more and think it's more fun. But also partially because I think that Conqueror being more of like the sustained fighting rune, I would want more of a sustained fighting build. So we're going to do that. We're going to do the Blade of the Ruin King into Black Cleaver. CSing well so far. And actually, I really, I really want to try supporting soon. Because you don't have to upgrade the support item yourself by spending money on it anymore. It just upgrades as you complete the quest more. And oh, they just seem so good. But we'll get to six. We'll see how the tickling stacks conquer. I wonder if it stacks like per shot or however. I have no idea how that's going to work. But we'll see. Because we can definitely all in them pretty dang hard here as our lane. And if we take small, you know, decent trades, Nami can heal the Misfortune up, but now I can also heal myself up with my Lifesteal. So keeping this here. Oh, Lord, he going for it. Unfortunately, he is going to miss. Okay, so she only gets one stack from the Make It Rain. I wonder if that'll be how it works with this, too. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god! Yo, can someone... Oh my god, take my action replay out of the game! <gasps> I'm cheating, baby. Dude. That's... That's not the tickling anymore. That's the fucking meltoning. That did so much damage. <laughs> What? Oh, baby, come, come, come here, come here. No. Yes, I got assist. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh. I have no mana. Okay, bye bye. Dude. Yo, I wanna, I wanna ult again. I, I wanna ult again. That. Did a lot of damage. <laughs> that did so much damage. Gimme, gimme. Oh, baby. An Infernal Drake next. Wait, what? So Cloud Dragon is now 10% ultimate cooldown reduction? What? Okay. You know, I, it's not what I expected, but <laughs> I'm here for it, boys. I am here for it. Okay. I I wonder what the other drakes are going to be then. Because I haven't tinkered with these. Oh. Oh. Oh, watch. Guys. 
You you do you open your eyes. Sit down. Get the cameras out because I I'm about to need to change my name to Bobby Big Plays after this next one. If these guys step up ever, doesn't look it doesn't look like they are. Come on, come to me, come to me. I must annihilate. Oh baby. Oh baby. I almost want to ult just to see how much damage my ult does alone. Oh, he got him. No! The tickling only gives you one stack. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. It's back to the tickling. Both of their ults though, great hook. Huge damage off on Nami. It doesn't stack the way we were hoping. But that does alter how we can try and play the game a little bit. And that's very useful information to know. Oof. <laughs> that Nami bubble looks really cool, actually. So I... Can I, like, tuck into this wall? So... <laughs> That's so troll. <laughs> That's actually so troll. The alcoves are going to be so goofy. I have literally no clue what I'm going to use them for. Ever. Yeah. Yep. I can actually get my Blade and King. I'm CSing super well this game. That's really good. Without the threat of her bubble... We could look for, we could look for something. Nice try, nice try. Boop, 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 boop. I think I'm just gonna go back and grab my Blade of the Rune King here. I love the High Noon uh, Lucian Recall, it's so cool. This skin in general is dope. Okay, so we can do this and this. Okay. Sounds good to me. Demetrius remains undetected. My boy. My sneaky, sneaky boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, the early Rift Herald, too. That is one other thing that they can, uh, they actually add to the game. The Rift Herald can now respawn because it spawns like six minutes into the game now. And if you're able to get it early enough before Baron spawns, it will respawn. So, that's interesting. You can get two Heralds now. Also, it, it, is it just me, or did they add a massive, massive amount of more room in these, these two bushes? Like, this bush and that one. They have so much more room to tinker with, like, from here to here. That's so much room. All right, so I wonder if Bork Active counts as a stack for our Conqueror's sake. Ooh. Ooh, there goes the bubble. And it's going to push towards us now so we can start looking to make big plays. Oh, shit, I'm coming, boy. I'm coming, Bubby. I'm coming, Bubby. I'm on my way. Here I go! Oh my god, he's so fast. Okay, wait, hang on. I can 1v2 this. Wait, I don't need to 1v2 this. Wait, hang on. What? What's this doing here? You stay there. Be sneaky. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, actually, oh no. <laughs> Alright, we're safe. Dude, that horse came out of nowhere! What? All right, bursted. Open with the W, auto attack, cancel the auto attack with the E's animation to make sure we get the proper cancellations and cooldown reductions and then just burst her out. Easy, easy. And the infernal is up, so now with the support dead, we do have priority in the bottom lane. Things are looking, things are, things are looking up for old Millhouse. Come on, baby. We do need Nunu down here, though. Because, you know, 
It's hard to hey drag without the jungler. Oh, another solid flash. Hecarim's here. They have this warded. Um, I'm just going to shoot this real fast. Get that out of there. All right, let's do it. Let's get this big boy. Wait, dragons go down so fast now. What? Ooh, that's not where you want to be, Nami. Someone call the chef because we got some sushi. The ocean swells and life begins anew. What? The entire... Okay. All right. I'll say it, guys. I really like the rainy... I really like the rainy rift. This looks beautiful. What the heck? What the heck? And apparently, with that, another change they do is there's more brush on the map. So not only is it rainy and pretty, I think there's more brush on the map, and this is when uh, honey fruit can start to spawn again as well. So it's quite interesting. She just used her bubble, so she's pretty much dead. No, I have no mana! <sighs> okay, got it. <laughs> as soon as she uses that bubble, though, whoa. We got the green light to go in. Oh, they even have the little mini icons for when the mini camps spawn now, too. Interesting. Hey, there's all, all these puddles around, too. What? This is so cute. All right, how close am I to this? So if I sell that, my math is weak. My math is weak. Almost as weak as my moves. All right, bye-bye. And purchase, purchase, purchase. I just want to go look at the rift now. This is so cute. So the only issue I'm having with Conqueror right now is the fact that... I'm having a hard time getting it stacked yet. Oh, so the honey fruit's in our jungle now? This is gorgeous. Oh, the, the bush extends across this entire... There's so much bush. Oh my gosh. It's like me when I haven't shaved in months. What the heck? All right, hang on. Dude, this is going to be an assassin's wet dream to play on the rift now. What the? Oh god. Oh, I just thought of Rengar. Oh, no. Oh, oh, mercy. Riot Games, please. I'm just a fucking little 80 carry boy. Come on, man. I didn't ask for this. I did. Come on, man. Don't do it to me. Please. All right. Boop. Am I able to keep the stacks? No, I don't keep stacks from hitting the turret. Good to know. Hmm. Is this up? It is. Hello, Hecarim. Oh, God, that's so horrifying to have these so not full of vision. Oh, hello. I got him with the slow and bug up. And you're being conquered, my lady. Okay. That's two. Okay, it's only going to be two. <laughs> oh my gosh. So do I get any benefits from sitting in the puddles or anything like this? Huh. Oh wait, what is this now? Okay, so it's just 5% AD and AP. And now we will get the cleaver. 
Our Conqueror did like 300 damage during that fight. Jeez. Yeesh. So. Ah, yes, of course. I can totally read that. Alright, take this just while we're on our way. Because we want to be on this part of the map anyways. Or when this dragon spawns. So, apparently after this dragon is when the big boy is. So, next will be another ocean drake. So, you'll 5% of your missing health for every 5 seconds. So, we would get the soul of the ocean drake. Which, as I said earlier, would be the one... That allows you to heal on hit. Um, yo, Pantheon, you and me, baby. You and me, buddy. Whoa. Mm -mm. Nice. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh, wait, I just realized they changed how the buffs also look. What? Yo, those look sick. Those actually look so good. So visually... Okay, you didn't... You didn't have a stack for that siege, and now everyone's just really sad. But visually, the rift looks dope now. For season 10, visually, this looks incredible. I've only seen one of them, and the rift actually changes um, how it looks entirely through, like, whatever dragon it is. So, whether it be ocean, wind, um, you know, fire, or mountain, it will look different each game. So, and even down to the torches change on the map. That's so cool. So I'm just going to say it out loud, Riot Games, if you can crack down on the, the whole player behavior issue we've been having for the last couple seasons, I will happily say that I endorse the game once more. How about that for a deal? Oh, the Conqueror's stacking! No! All right, come at me, boys. Come at me. Come at me, boys. I literally dashed into it. I dashed into it. I dashed into it. I talked so much shit. I talked so much shit. And I dashed. I dashed directly into the fucking bubble. Holy shit. <laughs> no. No. It feels so bad. I feel like such a goon. Ah, <sighs> damn it. God damn it. <laughs> what you gonna do? You know, sometimes sometimes it do be like that. That was a fatty wave top, too. I want that. Gimme, gimme. So, without Conqueror being this tank shredding rune... I know this sounds crazy. I'm actually kind of hopeful that it encourages a tanky meta again. Because tanky metas are where AD carries do really well. Because we're needed. We're necessary. Other people can't kill the tanks. But us AD carries, oh baby, we kill tanks. That's what we do. I mean, we also burst, but like, we can kill tanks. So call me crazy, guys. Call me crazy. But I think that would be cool. And plus, we haven't seen a tanky meta in, what, <laughs> four seasons now? Who knows? I mean, I'm sure someone knows, but not me. Hmm. Is it just me, or do these minions feel tankier? Like, I'm really strong, and these minions are still taking me a bit to kill.
Yeah, I am absurdly strong and the minions are taking me a little while to kill. Tank minions meta. Now let's do it. I want to make more use of this conquer. It actually is so cool the way it works. Like if you just start off a fight with one rotation of your oof, spells. You are able to just do so much extra damage. And does the scaling go up over the game? Yeah, 2.5 per stack now. So that's, what, 25 more AD when it's fully stacked? Interesting. Very interesting. Come back to me, you weenie! Oh my god. Dude, the minions rail each other. I see you're coming this direction. Where'd my horsey friend go? No! Oh, the soul of the ocean. Okay, they're right. They're doing the right thing. So now we get this. Beautiful, I can tell you exactly what it does. I mean, I know... Wait, what the heck? What the fuck? I'm regenerating so much. I mean, I know I obviously have the blue buff, but like... Look at the chunks! Look at my mana chunk back up! That's not the 15.8. The 15.8 is my base. That's the soul. I'm ulting here because I just want to... Get me out of this. Get me back in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I canceled an auto attack! I think if I didn't cancel an auto attack there, I did so much more work. But how much health did it, did it take to kill me? So I've got 2,000 health. They had to do 4,341 damage to kill me. They had to do literally over double my health bar. To kill me from my amount of healing. From what? A combination of my conquer, which probably didn't do that much there. Um my Blade of the Rune King, but the Ocean Dragon Soul. Because that's really, really empowered when you hit. Oh guys. Oh geez, how terrible would it be if something just happened and Coincidentally, I had to wait for 30 gold. Like, can you guys imagine how crazy that would be and how inefficient use of time it would be to just have to wait for 15 gold? Like, I mean, at this point, it's only 10 gold. We might as well wait, right? So. All right, wow. wow exactly enough money for my Infinity Edge. It's perfect. Wait, so... What does the Elder Dragon even do now if we already have the Ocean Dragon Soul? Does... Okay, so not to spoil anybody, I am streaming, and chat is yelling at me that it executes everything. Laser Beams of Death. We're stalling for the, we're stalling for the, we are stalling for it. Yeah, we're stalling for it. Yeah. Um, yes. I've got murder on the mind, okay? No, no, no. No, no, no. We let them live another day. Except him. He can't live another day. Or you. Okay, maybe you can. Uh. Do I change my mind? Eh. No. Whee. I feel like this is really incentivizing games to make comebacks a million times harder. Which, in some ways, is good. In some ways, is not. But in the sense of, like... Oh my god. 
if the enemy team that's losing happens to steal the elder and get this apparently omega execute big brain ultra death stats i don't know i mean we're not just gonna stand here and wait for two minutes i'm, I'm gonna go see if i can like 1v5 and i'm just gonna keep looking around the rift too because this shit pretty this shit pretty hey boys hey boys it's me it whoa whoa damn has anyone ever seen a thresh so clean Woo. wait there's a bush and dragon there is oh that's scary so i'm actually really close to my uh zeal item too so I will go get dead. Ba baby, what is you doing? Enemy team, kill this man. Kill this man. All right, let's see. So. I mean, I'm Lucian. So Phantom Dancer is naturally really, really good. Naturally, really, 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 really good. Baron than Elder? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it real fast. Or Elder than Baron? Either way, we should probably do them pretty quick. Wow, she does not take any damage. Wow, that is that has just gotta be horribly discouraging. That that regen. Oh my god, the re oh sorry, they were doing this. That's actually nuts. That region is insane. Alright. Now we head straight over here. I assume the Baron is completely the same. Hand of Baron. This unit has a favor of Baron Nasher and has the following bonuses. Empowered Recall. Increased AD and AP. And nearby allied minions are vastly enhanced. So. Same Baron. Totally fine. Now let's see what these Omega Laser Beams of Death do. Okay. Call. Oh, that's not it. Aspect of the Dragon. Your attacks reveal and burn enemies for 165 d true damage based on game duration over three seconds. Damaging an enemy champion below 20% health, blast them with Dragon Fire, dealing 100% of their max HP is true damage. I'm sorry, what? Oh, dude, everybody. Oh, no, the lasers! Oh no! Bro! Oh, it made my screen shake! Block! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what the hell? That's horrifying. What? Oh, don't do it to him, guys. Don't do it to him. Run, Ezreal. <laughs> wow. What a taste of what season 10 has to bring for us. What the heck? That elder is horrifying. Oh, good luck ever forfeiting a game anymore. People will be like, yeah, we can win. Elder Dragon exists. <laughs> Damn you. You're too good. How much was it? Does it count the true damage? 1300 true damage. I wonder if that counts the... Um, the... Elder damage. I'm curious. Dude, this is, this is nutty, though. So, I, I do want to tinker around with it more. There's a lot of things that I want to mess with. Because, 
Oh my god. That laser was so funny. How much damage does my Conqueror do? Conqueror, oh, it only shows the healing. So it doesn't actually show the additional damage we got to do. It only shows the healing that we got to do through it. Which, I, you know, I guess now that I think about it, tracking the amount of damage it would do would be pretty hard because it just gives you uh, stats, right? It only gives you stats. So it would be pretty tough to actually account for all the damage that you gain. So that does make sense that it would only show you the healing. Um, but I mean, in all honesty, Conqueror did feel good. Do I think it felt better than press the attack per se? I can't say for sure. Um, as of right now, I think they would just both be very viable options with press the attack edging out, um, conquer in situations where you have a support like a Thresh or like a Nautilus or someone that can hold targets down and you can burst them. Um, where conquer may work better for longer fights or games where you'll run into teams with tanks or things like that. So it's. It's hard, it's hard to say what will be better. Either way, that was my very first game of the preseason changes. Lots and lots of things to like about it. They've got some optimization to do for the Rift. Um, the, jet, or the dragon changes are pretty cool. And <laughs> we can all praise the heavens. Spear of Shoujin was removed from the game. Oh my god, they, I'm so happy. So happy. But we'll see. We will see what they do. They still have a slew of changes that they want to implement. Um, and I'm very hopeful and optimistic for this preseason. I think they actually may have learned from the previous preseason where they were like, hey guys, we're actually not going to, you know, change anything during the preseason. We're just going to change it when ranked hits in the live, you know, in, in the live game. But it looks like they're actually doing a lot this preseason. And I'm optimistic. I'm, not optim I'm optimistic. So let's see. We'll see. And I'll be here to make videos covering all the crazy builds you guys can think of. And with the rune changes, item changes, all this stuff, feel free to help me think of builds. And I am more than happy to try them. So with all that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, do leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can subscribe, ring that bell, and be notified whenever I do upload a video. All that jazz, and as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!